All right, in this video, we're going to add our form so that we can add a marker through some fields. So we're going to go to our app component HTML and let's go down. Let's see, we want to be within the container. So after this, this div here, and we're going to create uh, a new div, give it a class of row. And inside there, we'll have a 12 column div. And let's put, let's use a panel. So let's, I'm going to go to get bootstrap. And in components, we should have, uh, let's see, panels. And then I'm going to grab this right here, this panel with title. Copy it. We'll throw it in there. All right, and then we'll change this panel title. We'll change it to add new marker. All right. And then in the body, we're going to put a form. Okay, inside the form, we're going to have a couple inputs. So this will be the type text and let's give it, uh, we're actually going to use ng model here. We're going to give each one a property. So ng model is going to equal marker name. All right. Now we also need to add a name attribute with the same value. All right. And let's actually give that a label as well. We'll say location name. All right, and I'm going to copy that, paste it in three more times. This one will be the latitude. So we'll change the ng model to marker lat. Same thing with the name. And then we'll have our longitude. change that and then the draggable option all right now draggable is going to be a select so we're going to change that to select and we're still going to use the ng model and the name except it's going to be marker draggable All right, and let's see, we need a closing tag for that. And we need our options. So we'll say option value. This value is going to be no. And the text will also be no. And then you can probably guess what the other one will be. And that'll be yes. All right, and then under the select, we'll have an input with the type of submit. Okay, we'll give it a value. For the value, we'll say map it. All right, so that should be our form. Let's go ahead and save it and take a look. Okay, looks good. Now for, in, for the form tag, we need to add an event handler here. So this is going to be a submit. And when the form is submitted, it's going to call add marker. All right, so let's save that and go to the component. And we're going to go down here and say add marker. And just to test it out first, we'll just do a console log. And we'll say adding marker. All right, so if we just add some dummy stuff in here and then map it, you'll see we get adding marker. 
So we know that's connected. So let's go back. And first thing I want to do is check for the um, the draggable. All right, so this is going to be an if else. And we're going to say if this actually, you know what we need to add those as we need to add the properties up here before we can do that. So we're going to go. Uh, let's see right above the markers. And let's say marker name. And that's going to be a string. And I'm just going to copy that. Okay, this one here will be marker lat, launch, and draggable. All right, so now that we added those, we're going to go back down here and we're going to say if this dot marker draggable, then we're going to uh, we're going to create uh, a variable called is draggable. And we're going to set it to the Boolean value of true. All right. Actually, this the, the condition should be if this marker draggable is equal to yes, because remember, the values are yes and no and they're strings. So we want to test if it's yes, we want to set this value to true. If not, we want to set it to false. All right. And then we're going to go and create our new marker. which is an object and it's going to get a name of this dot marker name. OK, it's going to get a lat and this has to be a float. So we're going to run parse float. And then pass in this dot marker lat. OK, and then we'll do the same thing with the longitude. And then we have the draggable. All right, and we're going to set that to that is draggable, okay, which will be a, either true or false. All right, so after that, we just need to push it to markers. So this dot markers dot push, and then we'll pass in new marker. So let's save that. All right, and then for location name, we'll just say my place, latitude, longitude, draggable, yes, and map it. And then if we go down here, there it is. All right, so it says my place. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stop here, and in the next video, uh, we're going to move on to persisting this data to local storage. All right, because right now, if I reload that locate that Boston location we just added is gone. All right, it was just in the browser. So we want to be able to set up local storage so that it'll stay even if we reload the page. Okay, so that's what we'll be doing next.